Good evening, everybody. My name is Bobby Craft, and tonight we're building something cool. We're building the express coaches for Gordon. Yay! But not these. These, uh, these look okay. And we built these on stream. Nah, we're building these. Look at these. These are so cool. I found a new color of loco metal inside of steam and rails and it looks even better than the color we were using before so let's get started to start you're gonna place down um your double axle actually i should say don't start like i'm doing don't just build this because then you won't have anything to attach it to you'll have to end up putting a train control inside the coach and it's gonna look weird with a train control inside the coach, so on and so forth, blah, blah, blah. Make sure that you start building these by hooking, or not hooking, but like putting, I don't know, say put Thomas or put Gordon here, and then enable build mode and build the co the coaches off of your train. Um, so pretend that Gordon's sitting here or something and we're building the coaches off of Gordon. We're gonna start by placing down the double axle bogey. The axle that we want is the double axle passenger. This may or may not be from extended bogeys, I'm not 100% sure. But you're gonna place down your double axle bogey. Behind that, you're gonna place a block of industrial iron. Off of the front of it, you're gonna place a copycat slab. Wrap that copycat slab all the way around and just stop one block after your industrial iron. Off of your industrial iron, we're gonna place down three girders. So we've got actually four, my apologies. We're gonna place four girders. Off of that girder, you're gonna place a basin. Okay, you're gonna apparently click the wrong spot and it's gonna do a base and do a, a bogey instead. You're gonna place a basin, and then you're gonna place down four. I actually don't need that anyway. Place down four copy or four pieces of. Goodness, don't do that. Four pieces of the industrial iron, and then another basin. Three, four girders industrial iron and then you can place your last bogey all in all you should have I believe a 20 block um, coach let's just test, test this here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty perfect same as you just did on the other side. You're gonna run down your copycat slabs and stop one block after this piece of industrial iron. Excellent. From here, you're gonna take the, what is this, blank coal block carving. And you're just gonna start filling in your copycat slabs. There we go. Next step that we wanna do, we wanna clear our palette just a little bit here. We're gonna grab a copycat step and a copycat slope layer. Place Come over to where you ended your copycat slabs, skip one block, place the blank, uh, the blank hole in your offhand, and place down one stair. Off of that stair, click on the top corner of that um, stair, and just place down your copycat slope until it looks like this. And then continue your stairs all the way down through and stopping here, switching to the copycat slope layer. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. And that's going to give you that distinctive shape that you always saw in the show off of Gordon's coaches. Yeah, these coaches look a little bit long, but from the scale of things, this is how big Gordon is. So therefore, his coaches need to be a little bit bigger to make the scale accurate. You can do whatever you want. You can shrink your coach. You could take out these two uh, blocks in the middle, for example, and shrink up the coach by two blocks. And actually, that might not look terrible. But me, I prefer the longer, more sleek and elegant looking coaches. But that's just my personal preference. You do as you wish. We're gonna uh, we're gonna repeat what we did on the other side. You probably just heard Bean in the background. Best guess as to what the story was that Bean was telling in the comments uh, wins bragging rights. There we go. Next, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves the brown rectangle, rectangle brown wool from the chip mod. And we're going to grab the rectangle brown carpet, as well as the copycat board. We're going to go ahead and do something a little bit different here. inside um, basically what you're gonna do is the door is gonna be right here essentially and then your wall next to the door is going to be right behind or right on either side of this block of industrial iron so we're gonna place down the polished cut aqua block and then the Akram pillar on top of that. Just repeat that on the other end. Like so. Perfect. Inside of the coach, we can get in it, there we go. Inside of the coach, you're gonna run a long strip of the brown rectangle, or rectangle brown carpet all the way down through here so that it covers up that stuff right there. The next thing that we want to do is we're going to go back one from our wall and we're going to just start placing down our seats. So seat there, seat there, skip one, Skip one, skip one, skip one, and then one up against the back wall. Did I do that right? I don't think I did that right. Apparently I skipped two inside that one. Did I just miss up that completely? Oh, you know what? I did skip that back one because we're going to do something different for the the backs of the chairs. So you're going to take your rectangle brown carpet and you're going to place that brown carpet on the back side of either wall or either one of these uh, diaphragms that you just started there. And then you're going to take yourself a copycat board and you're going to place down a copycat board. For the floor instead of the rectangle carpet and the reason that we're doing that is because we want the brown terracotta next we're going to place the brown terracotta in our offhand and we're going to shift click a board onto the back of these seats If you put a carpet down, let me just show you. If you put a carpet down, you can't put it back on your seat. But if you put down a board uh, on the floor and then a board on the back of your seat, you have 
successfully made yourself seat backs inside of your passenger cars. Pretty cool, huh? All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to grab ourselves a copycat panel. Clear out the palette just a little bit. We want a copycat board. And we want a copycat slice. Our copycat slice system is going to run all the way down through. So we want cyan local metal. Get the slashed kind because it looks nicer. And then we want cut sandstone because it has that little line on the top of it there to give the effect of running more slashes down on the inside or on the top of it there. And then we want oak glass. We want to grab the oak glass pane, as well as just the regular oak glass. You're going to start by placing down your panels, running your panels all the way down through. Along the sides here. the side of your passenger car done. Co can copy what I'm doing here by placing down that temporary block just to continue it along and then remove that temporary block. Make sure to take your time. Slow. And if you make a mistake, either figure out a way to keep it, to make it your own unique version of the build, or fix it up real quick. Easy peasy. The next thing that we want to do is we want to come in here and we want to place down a temporary set of blocks. We're going to grab ourselves a copycat half panel. Place the copycat half panel. Like so. Rinse and repeat on the other side. Remove your temporary blocks. And what we want to do here is we want to grab a hold of a copycat slab. Run that copycat slab. Just do a temporary slab right there and then run two slabs up. Delete your temporary slabs. Repeat that process on the back. Like so. Alright. Moving into the inside of the coach now. What we want to do is we want to place down a copycat board on the inside layer of our coaches. We're going to fill that board, those two, those two boards on the bottom, with our cyan local metal. And our top two with the cut sandstone. We want to shift click a board on either side of those slabs that we just placed. We're going to extend out our 
copycat slab temporarily. Place down another board. Place down a couple of temporary blocks and another board on top. So give yourself this diaphragm effect on the inside. We can fill our diaphragm with the coal pillar blocks. To give it that connection feel between the coaches. The inscribed coal block will go here to make it look like a builder's plate. And then use the polished coal on either side to give it a clean black color. Seems to be decorating the outside of our coach. Just kind of filling in stuff that makes sense. And stuff that looks good. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing here for the window design on your coaches. You can do whatever window design you wish. Make it your own. The cyan local metal will run across the bottom. And then anywhere you didn't put a window, put the cut sandstone. So the reason that we're using the oak glass panes instead of the oak glass is because the oak glass panes fit into the build a little cleaner. give you a little bit of a ledge effect on the outside here and then actually just looks really neat so that's why we're doing that remember to repeat everything that you did on the other side of your coach Once again, we place down a board, 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 temporary blocks, and a board. And that's how you make mistakes. You accidentally click. board now. As well as the copycat half layer. So what you'll do for your roof, and I'm not going to build the whole roof because this video has gotten pretty long. I'm just going to build a couple sections to show you here. 
Um, you're going to place down a piece of your half layer. You'll click it twice. And then you'll place down a level 3 half layer. You'll place a copycat layer in the middle. That's a 4. Half layer is a 3. Half layer is a 2. And on the outside of that is a slice or a 1. Fill in your outer slices or your outer uh, outer pieces with the deep slate tile and your middle with the polished cut deep slate. Repeat that all the way down, and you'll have yourself a roof. One detailed piece that I did do to show you. detail piece that I did do. Click in a slice three times. Take a deep slate tile bridge stair and place that like that and place that like that. On mine there's a little bit of pixel fighting or z fighting. I've seen it on other people's instances of Minecraft where this just looks like a curve and it's really cool. That's something that you can do just to kind of fill it out, flush it out, whatever you want to call it. You can also add a slice there to kind of flush that out a little bit too. Right, once you have your roof completely done. Next thing that I did, I added just a line of the copycat slice with the cyan local metal just to extend down that green part just a little bit more and make the underside less visible when you're just walking down the side. Your eyes don't instinctively rush right to the exposed stuff here. Just that. Last thing that we want to do, last couple of things, is we want to put on our copycat doors. As well as our copycat buffers. You'll put down the copycat door, bottom is the cyan lock metal, top is the oak glass. It won't do the trick that it does here, which is why we just have the regular oak glass block. Remember to always follow through and finish what you started. Sides. There's that. Place down your copycat stuff. Block is the polished coal for the color. You guys believe Thomas is Thomas the Tank Engine first came on the air 40 years ago? If you've gotten this far in the video, let me know in the comments below. 
how old you were when you started watching Thomas. Last but certainly not least, you can somehow manage to get into your creation. Stand inside here, face the wall, and add in a brass door. You know what I did? I placed the seats backwards. The seat orientation is actually extremely important. is actually very important. You want to make sure that your seats are going a specific direction as I found out when trying to connect them, uh, connect these passenger cars to um, a locomotive. If you were to uncouple them for example. So make sure that you actually start your seats go into your car and if this is where your train is like if this is where your gordon is or your thomas is you want to make sure that you start your seats one backward from the wall not where i put them this does matter and this does make a difference Take your copycat board, place back any carpet, like so. Shift click the backs of your seats on. So if you're uncoupling your locomotive, when you go to recouple it, make sure that you recouple it with the tender here so that the seats are facing towards the locomotive. For some reason, I don't know why. I don't know how to explain it. Gosh, there we go. For some reason, that's just what happens doesn't let you couple and uncouple from the other side of the locomotive from back here for whatever reason. I don't know. At least it doesn't let me, I should say. So it may let you. Let me know if in, the, in the comments if it does. There we go. That's going to complete our build for the express coaches. These look a little bit better, in my opinion, than the ones that I designed and built on stream. So consider it an upgrade. Take some time today, maybe watch a Thomas episode. Have some fun, show me your builds on Discord, all the stuff and things. And I hope you guys have a great day. 
thanks very much for watching and for all the support and all the likes and comments and subscribes and even the dislikes you know it doesn't matter i appreciate each and every single one of you and have a great day okay love you bye